In this video, I'll show you a simple way to clone your data to a new drive before installing it in your Steam Deck. I'll be upgrading from a 512GB Western Digital SN740 to a beastie 2TB Western Digital Black SN770M. You'll need some kind of precision toolset, I'd highly recommend the iFixit Essentials Electronics Toolkit. You'll also need an NVMe enclosure. We don't sell this one anymore, but I'll leave links in the description to some that I'd recommend. First, take your new drive and mount it in your NVMe enclosure. This process will vary based on the enclosure model, but it's generally a straightforward process. Once done, attach your enclosure to the Steam Deck and boot it into desktop mode. In desktop mode, select the application launcher, system, then console. If you haven't already set up a super user password on your Steam Deck, you'll need to set one by running passwd. As I've already set one, it's asking for my existing password. But if you're running this for the first time, it should just ask you to enter a new one. Keep a note of this as you'll need it in the next step. Next, let's kick off the drive clone process by running the following command. If you want to understand exactly what this does, I've included a breakdown of the options in the description. Press enter and supply the super user password that you set in the previous step. The clone process should start. As you can see, the copy process has completed. For me, this took around 30 minutes, but this will vary depending on how much data you're copying. Now to replace the drive. Shut down, remove any SD cards, and place the Steam Deck into battery storage mode. To do this, hold the volume up button and press the power button. Release both and you should boot into the BIOS menu. From here, select Utility, Power, Battery Storage Mode. This will prevent the Steam Deck from accidentally booting up whilst installing a new drive. To protect the screen and buttons, I'd recommend using your Steam Deck case during disassembly. Next, you'll need to carefully remove the eight screws from the back of your Steam Deck. These are different sizes, so be sure to keep them organised. The lid for the iFixit toolkit is perfect for this, as it's split into sections. Now using some plastic tools, carefully remove the back cover from your Steam Deck. Don't use anything metal such as a screwdriver, as it could cause damage. Start near the trigger buttons and work your way around until it's fully removed. Next, remove these four screws. One of them is hiding behind the foil tape. Remove the cover and disconnect the battery using this tab.
Gently pull and wiggle it from side to side until it's fully disconnected. Now undo the screw holding the drive in place and remove it from the slot. You'll need to remove the shielding and slide it over your new drive. If it's too small, you can prise it apart at the seam and stick it back together. Now replace the drive and reassemble. Be sure to fully reconnect the power cable by firmly pushing it into place. Connect a power cable to disable battery storage mode and power on your deck. This may take longer than usual. As you can see, I didn't have to sign in and it looks like everything is how I left it. Let's check the storage. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.